Hello LEGO fans, Jarbricks here with another update. So uh, you've seen the recent updates where I've been building up this area with the police station and um, sorting out Chinatown. I've um, been doing this little area here, the Market Street. So I'm just going to try and stretch over because I've got to get all of, all of these buildings in order to uh, show you. So bear with me, I'm not sure if the shadows will be cast or whatnot, but there you go. So just from this area, um, I've, you, you saw that um, little temple that I did that was from Ninjago City Gardens. Uh, so what I've been doing this week is I've just put a bit of a, a greenery there. That's the um, Birch Books tree. I uh, just changed the uh, leaves to the green ones instead of the yellow ones. And then that's the cherry blossom that you got with the um, new temple, new year, Chinese festival thing that came out last year. And I've put, built an ice cream shop and also a burger shop there. Let me just show you from the other angle. So I've built the little um, burger shop here that's from the um, fire engine fire rescue thing that came out uh, last year so I've just made that into a bit of a store and then here you've got the ice cream shop where the awning has just fallen down I'll lift it up so you can see inside um, and that's just from the ice cream van that came out last year so I got it on offer from uh, Amazon so I thought I would uh, Put that to good use by making a little shop here and uh, if you remember that was that useless um, free pack thing that we got with something like 50 different builds i thought i'd make the ice cream van uh, the ice cream sorry to just go on the top and i thought it looked really nice from a distance and then i've just put a bit of an aircon unit or refrigeration unit which is still aircon i suppose uh, on the roof there and then um, I've just put a bit of foliage. This is the tree from Birch Books. And I've just changed uh, the green, to, uh, from the orange, sorry, to the green. And I've also used the cherry blossom from the um, Temple Fair from last year's uh, Chinese New Year set. And that's it along here. So I just changed out the roof for some of these buildings. I still haven't quite got enough for the tiling, but that is on order. And then just try and show you the market stands without stuff being in the way. I can't really get in there. So I'm really pleased with the, uh, the way that um, this little market street has turned out. Let me just show you the view from where I sit. So th this is uh, when I'm creating stuff sitting down here. This is what I turn around and see. And I love that view down the, uh, through Chinatown over here to the museum. I think it looks um, really hectic and busy and full of life as a city should be. Well, the pre-lockdown coronavirus city should be. I would like to swap out on all of these. Um, you've got the dark tan squares with the dark bluish gray lines between. I'd like to change that to the light bluish gray, um, but it's hard to get hold of them at the moment in the future maybe um, and then the only other update that I've got is um, that I built this so I've just swapped out the um, the small little um, jetty with the boats on just put that there um, eventually I will do something with that I'd like to have an underwater scene there eventually but um, it's quite far down my list uh, once I've finished that market area off, I want to start redeveloping this area. I want to put a few factories. I want to have um, a cup factory 
and a newspaper printery uh, along here. And I also want to redo uh, Ace Chemicals, make that bigger as well. So uh, I want to get this all developed as it's quite flat and uh, I'd like some bigger buildings there. And that's it. So thank you for watching the city. As I said, this is just a brief, small update. And we thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe and I'll see you next week with another update. Goodbye.